So I figured I'd give you guys a quick update on the edger. I just finally got around to adjusting this throttle cable. So now this works perfectly. Actually, it's the choke as it should. I mean, it still functioned how it was, but I cut it down to size. So then I didn't have that obnoxious looking loop hanging out the side. But anyway, so I decided I'd pull apart the uh, spindle here and listen to this. There's definitely some flat spots in these bearings. No amount of lube's gonna bring them back. So what I'm gonna have to try to do is take this thing apart and see if I can get this shaft out as well as these two bearings. So this is what I'm having to do. This thing is a uh, royal pain in the ass. So here's the shaft, and here's all the associated pieces, and the nut. So, now we need to see if we can get these bearings out, because these are what need to be replaced. definitely covered with grease so the grease that I put in here definitely was doing its job however this thing I don't think was ever greased in the almost probably a little over 30 years that it's uh, been around so now I just need to pound the other one out that's not gonna be hard to do either so after getting some wood and bashing the shit out of it with a hammer I've got both of the bearings out so now I just need to figure out what bearings these are and uh, order up some replacements. I might be able to see the part number here. Um, I've got the other bearing shield somewhere around here. It's probably underneath the edger. Oh, here it is. So there's probably a part number on here that I'm going to have to get off of it. I don't think these bearings are going to be all that expensive, but just goes to show you guys when you don't grease up things as they should be, they start to kind of wear out. And this is by far one of the worst sounding um, edger bearings that I've ever had to mess with. But yeah, so I'll have to get a couple of these and I'll be right back. So I just received the new bearings in the mail. I just took off the seal from the other sides of them so I can grease them. And because it's supposed to be uh, unsealed on that side anyways. Let's look at the old ones. So, I'm about to go back together with everything. And these are the new seals. There, in case I need them for anything else. Here's a blade. So, what I'm going to use is my Lucas grease. And uh, for those of you who are wanting to know the part number for these, there you go. So I'm just gonna throw some grease in here, throw a little bit inside of the spindle, and we'll get her back together. And so very carefully, I'm just using a rubber mallet and actually one of the washers for the shaft there. And just tapped it back in. This one was the hardest to get back in, at least so far, and it probably will be. I'm anticipating that this one's gonna be a bit easier. So I got that one back in far as I can get it anyways. Now I'm just putting the blade back on. But before I do that, I forgot I need to put the rest of that back on. So that's all put back together. Now I just have to lube it up. We'll be good to go. These weep holes that are right here, they're to tell you when you're fully serviced with grease, 
kind of nice. It's not for an extra zert fitting. So let's uh, get her on the ground, start her up, and see what happens. really quiet you almost wouldn't even know the blades on that's how quiet it is it is gonna piss out a little bit of uh, a little bit of the grease so I'll just need to wipe that away um, honestly that's what it's there for so I might overfill it a little bit but it's better to be overfilled than under underfilled and those tubes of grease are only like four or five bucks a piece so it's not really a huge deal plus I wanted to try the grease out and see how it is anyways and so far i'm kind of liking it um but that might be a different video for a different day anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i noticed there was not a uh, video up on youtube about how to change the bearings out so hopefully this helped those of you who were looking for a video like this and uh, definitely stay tuned for more videos